Welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are painting the blooming of London. London is famous for its great cherry trees. I have seen that once myself and it's just beautiful. This is the longest tutorial I've ever done uh, so far and I hope you like it. I apply water on the paper because I want to use the wet on wet technique. Here are my reference photos. I wanted the typical British telephone box together with the lamppost, which is also famous. I couldn't find a photo with the two of them together and that the great in painting compared to photography, you just create a scene. You just put one object into another scene. Now I apply my first wash in pink. It's a very light pink. All the colors I used you can find in the description below. I started on the left hand side and now I do the same on the other side. Again I apply water um, for the wet on wet technique and apply the first wash in pink. I apply dots in the wet and wet technique um, to create a bit of shading. Now I start painting the telephone booth in the typical bright red.
A typical British telephone box was designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott. The post office had a competition in 1924. These public telephone boxes are not in use any longer as telephone boxes. Today, sometimes you can see them used as a library where people swap books or as an art gallery. So different use today, but they are still typical for Britain and they are still very often photographed by tourists. So most of the telephone boxes are not in use anymore. They are still quite often seen in London, especially. Um, and there are quite really photogenic spots for these telephone boxes um, in front of the parliament, at the embankment, at the um, Covent Garden. There are also spots where you have two or three um, boxes together and they're very good for photographs. Um, I found an article online which is called the best red phone box locations in London for photos and I put a link in the description below. So if you're traveling to London and want to photograph these iconic telephone boxes, this is the way to go and where to find them.
That's a famous and a romantic story about the lampposts in London, Westminster. You can see them as a W on them and they also have uh, two C's entwined together. They look like um, Coco Chanel, um, they look a bit like the Coco Chanel trademark. And the story is that the Duke of Westminster was uh, in a relationship with Coco Chanel in the 1920s and he proposed to marry her. And um, Coco Chanel obviously declined that and he was so much in love with her so that he put this, the entwined seas on the lamppost and his W crest for the Westminster on that uh, lamppost. Well, obviously I found out that is not true. The lampposts were not installed um, in that time. They were installed in the 1950s. And um, according to a post I've read, the CC simply stands for the city council and W for Westminster, but not for the Duke of Westminster. So choose whichever story you like best, so the romantic one or the probably true one. I created a light grey colour with a lot of water and now I'm painting the glass windows in the telephone box. Um, what I paint is more or less a reflection. Glass is never one colour. Glass always has reflections in it. This is what I'm trying to do with the light grey colour. After I finished painting these branches, I realized they look a bit strange. They are parallel and yeah, not very natural, but that was too late. But I think in the final painting, it is not that obvious like it was here at the moment, because later on I will darken the pink in the background and then it's not so visible anymore. Now I apply a second pink layer, again with some shading in it, to intensify the color and make it brighter because the cherry blossoms are really bright.
Same here with the lamppost. Please paint up to the lamppost, otherwise you have a wide space around it and it doesn't look nice. I had that at the beginning because, because I was very careful, but it doesn't look good. So now I'm painting up to the line. Now I start painting the branches in this paint cloud. It looks like a bit like a cloud. Um, so to show that there are branches in there, you can see them always. It's not just pink. You can see little branches in between. And this is what I'm painting here in the same brown as I painted the, the trunk. On an extra sheet of paper, I practice writing the word telephone just to make sure I'm not doing anything wrong in the original painting. Now the tree is kind of hanging in the air, so I used some ochre color to, to create an area where they are standing on the ground and not hanging in the air.
at the end I added some splashes but I forgot to switch on my camera sorry for that so in the final picture you see these um, splashes I wanted to show that some cherry blossoms are falling down and that some of them were also laying on the ground I thought that makes the picture a little bit more interesting and I love splashes in pictures um, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss any of my new videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you would like to support me, please go to my Patreon page. All the links are below in the description. See you next week.